Would you look at the skin? Would you look at this crispy skin? Guys, look at this. Look at this crispy skin. Look at this. Let's talk about love. Like you and me all night and let's talk about love. All the delicious cuisine I've eaten in my journeys, I've come to learn that texture matters just as much as flavor, especially when it comes to the crunch. Listen to this crunch. Okay, all right. Shut up! We're doing a crunch test. It's a crunch. It's really crunchy. It's really crunchy. Super crunchy. Unbelievably crunchy. Today, we're going to meet the king of crunch, coming out of this Kuala Lumpur restaurant, satisfying hundreds of guests each day. This is the last video of my Kuala Lumpur series. I showed up to this energetic city with an eager heart and excited taste buds. I checked out the local street food scene. This one is banana. That's a normal banana? That's not normal, but it's like- It's gigantic. I've never seen a banana that big. I asked taxi drivers where they eat. Oh, shit. I use my left hand. I am not good at this yet. And I took an in-depth foodie tour through Chinatown. For me, this is a really big moment. Clay pot, roasted rice, chicken. And even with all this, I know I've barely scratched the surface of what this place has to offer. Today, we're digging deep into a staple of Malaysian cuisine, nasi lemak ayam garang, or coconut rice with fried chicken. In order to find the absolute best, I headed to Village Park Restaurant. The head chef, Samuel, is absolutely obsessed with quality, which means even with the huge influx of daily guests, the kitchen is still working hard to crank out handmade delights. Today, we are exploring a staple of Malay cuisine and what some might call the national dish of Malaysia. That, I mean, that's what our taxi driver said on the way here, so that's good enough for me. I am talking about nasi lemak or coconut rice. No tricks, no shortcuts, just awesome food that keeps people coming back. We have just arrived at the legendary Village Park restaurant where they are taking this tasty treat to a whole new level. So let's go on down to Flavor City. That's my new catchphrase. Let's go. This way, actually. And today he's taking me backstage to see exactly how it's done. Let's go. All right, we are headed into the kitchen where the magic happens, where all the secrets are. We're gonna turn off the fans. But I don't ever want to turn off my fans. I only turn on my fans. Do you guys know what I mean? Yet again, I have tricked another re restaurant into showing me their secret recipe. And from here, I will make my own coconut rice restaurant. And then I will take over the world with my own... Not so, okay, no I won't. Right now, I'm here with Samuel. He is the co-owner and head chef of Village Park Restaurant. And today, he is gonna show me the secret behind the perfect nasi lemak. First is the fragrant rice. We have uh, mixed two types of rice. One is local rice and one is Thai rice. We have onion, lemon glass, is pine leaf, ginger, pinch uh, salt and uh, sugar. And this is the coconut uh, milk. No, we're gonna put all of this in there. Yes. After the rice has been washed, Samuel tosses in the sugar and a good amount of salt. That's a good amount of salt. Yeah. Then the coconut milk, ground ginger, lemongrass, and pandan leaf. This big old bowl of future yum gets dumped into a wood bucket along with some onions. So it's yeah. all about really yes. fragrant yes, yes. seasonings. And we cover it up. This was empty. There was no yes. water in here. No water. But the water will come up through this yes, pan. Yes, the water will come up. All right. 45 minutes later and bam, a large wooden bucket full of fluffy coconut rice. That is such a good smell. Rice You're gonna grab a spoonful? Ready. Wow. You see, and you know, the rice is fluffy, you see? Sure. Super fragrant, aromatic, mild flavors. They're not really bold flavors, but yeah. a lot of aromatic flavors yeah. working together. Yeah. Lemongrass, ginger, the coconut. It got to be very fluffy. The taste and the aromas must be there. It's my big moment. Here we go. So we have all the taste. You have Whoa. the uh, aroma of the coconut smell, and you have the uh, uh, spice leaf smell, ginger, and the lemon glass. The smell and the aroma is there, you see. He's doing my job for me. That's everything <laughs> I was gonna say, so, but he nailed it. And it's a lot more salty yes. than yeah. other rice that I've had, which is yes, nice. You yes. can, it feels like you could just eat this alone. So this is nasi lemak. No, let me, can I say that part? So this is nasi lemak. Cool? Yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and pounded, thank you, sir. That is the coconut rice, but now we're gonna try that 
with the ayam goreng, yes. the fried chicken. And let me tell you, you've never seen fried chicken like this. Round two in the kitchen. These are the fried chickens. Chicken. Before we fry, if the oil got to be very hot, still have to use old way of frying. So the Whoa. chicken is ready. Yeah. Oh, so crispy. Then we got to clean up the oil for, from the crispy, otherwise, Right. Burn, really. All these nice little crispies in here, we're gonna eat those too. No machines, there's no shortcuts, and that's how we get the amazing quality and kind of the personal touch every time you eat it. And this okay. is the final product after the frying. So you just cut it one time yes. between the thigh and the yes. leg. And this is the crispy of to make it aroma. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is the secret behind everything. <laughs> it is not just the flavor, it is the awesome texture. Yes. And right here, we have the rack with the fried chicken. Yeah. And falling down beneath is all the crispies yes. in this drawer. From the batter on the chicken, the extra bits of crispiness that have fallen off, everybody knows that is the best part. I mean, I would be happy just to eat like 10 pieces of chicken skin and then spend the rest of the night in the bathroom. Let's try it out. Oh, an amazing crunch. It's a super rich, crunchy fried breading, but it still has some light flavors. It still has that lemongrass flavor to it. Today, my classic nasi lemak will start with a banana leaf base, a hearty scoop of coconut rice, salty fried peanuts and anchovies, cucumber, half a hard boiled egg, spicy sambal sauce, and a juicy portion of chicken, topped with fried chicken crispies, served with a giant glass of Milo. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Would you just look at it? This is a meal, this is a monstrous meal. And to go with it, we have what he calls the Milo Dinosaur. <laughs> I've never had Milo before. This is some Australian drink, I guess? I don't know, I'm not Australian. Oh, it's chocolate milk. It's chocolate milk with a bunch of chocolate milk powder. There's a special way to eat this. You can't just go in here willy-nilly. You need to do it the right way. And what I know is that we need to have a bit of fried chicken, we need to have the sambal sauce, and we need to have the coconut rice all together. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. The trifecta, together at last. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that is freaking ridiculous. Have you had this? No? Yeah, you like this one? That is so good. This chili sauce, it's not overwhelmingly spicy. I can handle it. Even this pale guy right here from Minnesota, I can handle it. But somehow, even though this coconut rice is made with a bunch of coconut milk, it doesn't feel fatty, heavy, or greasy. It still manages to be extremely fluffy. The rice is really flavorful without having any kind of bold punch to it. Oh, the crunch. The crunch is real. Some chicken, some sauce. We've got some of the anchovies and peanuts. They're smart enough to go, like, this is what people want. They want the Krispies, so they save them. Did you see they have a Krispies drawer? Bro. I want a Krispies drawer at home. How many of you would like to have a drawer full of chicken Krispies at home, right? It's as much about the texture as it is the flavor. And this meal is full of different textures. The chicken skin is really crunchy, but you also get the fried anchovies and the peanut, which is crunchy, but in a different way. Would you look at the skin? Would you look at this crispy skin? Guys, look at this. Look at this crispy skin. Do you get the ayam goreng? Yeah, oh, come back. It's the best. There you go, there you go. Oh, mmm. You hear the crunch? The crunch is real. What else? What else is there to say? The flavors really complement each other as if they were saying nice things to each other. For me, this has been a really amazing experience, getting to check out a real staple of Malaysian uh, culture and cuisine. I highly recommend stopping by here next time you're in Kuala Lumpur. Um, do I have a conclusion? In any event, if you want to subscribe to this channel, that would be cool. You don't have to, though. Uh, un you can unsubscribe if you want. You say that. Then. I don't know. <laughs> say again. Remember to not unsubscribe. Uh, maybe throw throw one of these. Don't throw one of those. And we'll see you next week. A piece. All right. Can we get a piece from you guys? Say peace. Peace. And back to me. A piece. Let's talk about love.